back to Reading with Renee. Today's story is Love You Forever, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Sheila McGraw. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always as long as i'm living my baby you'll be the baby grew and he grew and he grew and he grew he grew until he was two years old and he ran all around the house he pulled all the books off the shelves he pulled all the food out of the refrigerator and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth back and forth, back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old, and he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath, and when Grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes, his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at nighttime, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. If he really was asleep, she picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, My baby you'll be. That teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always 
As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day she called up her son and said, You'd better come home and see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy you'll be. When the sun came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever I like you for always as long as I'm living my baby you'll be what a sweet story that was we learned about a little boy who grew up to be a man and had his mom's love all through his life and we learned that mom's love is always there across all generations. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check out my channel for some other stories you may love. And until next time, this is Reading with Renee.